almost 95% of the world population consider conflict or war to be bad or negative in nature. This is so because of its negative consequences on the society, the community, and the nation at large. The aftermath of conflict always brings about death, destruction of properties, brings about loss of interest, retardation in development, poverty, and the rest. However, despite the numerous negativities, the numerous consequences brought about by conflict, it also have some positivity or some good aspect. Conflict brings about innovation. It brings about new ideas. It brings about collaboration. So the aftermath of conflict or war is not always bad. Sometimes it has some aspect of positivity or some good aspect in there. In this video, I'm going to show you how entrepreneurs are currently gaining a lot of money from the current crisis between Russia and Ukraine. One common trait of almost every entrepreneur is seeing problem as an opportunity to explore or to capitalize on it to bring something or to find a solution to something. That is the common trait of almost every entrepreneur trying to use problems as means of opportunity and in the case of finding solutions to that problem they create something or they gain something out of it. Currently we know the crisis that is happening between Russia and Ukraine. The first way investors or entrepreneurs are making money from the current crisis is that most entrepreneurs have started to operate under legal conditions or they have obtained legal permission to operate in the production of ammunition. Yes, in the production of ammunition. Entrepreneurs have seen that there's a need for the production of ammunition, but in this case it has been legalized and registered under the jurisdiction laws to operate. Therefore, it, it's not illegal. So these private investors or private entrepreneurs have started the production of ammunition and you know government will probably need more of these ammunition to, to handle the crisis. So one way that current entrepreneurs are gaining a lot from the crisis is the production of ammunition. And when we say ammunition, you probably know the war's equipment, the guns, the missiles, the bombs and the rest are all the ammunition that individuals, especially entrepreneurs or investors have started to open companies, to open firms, to open organizations for solely the production of what these ammunition. Another means entrepreneurs are making money is the means of transport. A lot of people in both Ukraine and Russia who don't like crisis or who always want peace are ready to move outside that jurisdiction just to you know, obtain or observe or just to experience or just to have the peace they want. So a lot of entrepreneurs have capitalized on that and are providing the means of transportation, some through the sea, some through the air, some the use of what the, the land. So entrepreneurs have also seen that as an opportunity to explore. People are capitalizing on that and are transporting people from the various countries to their various destination and entrepreneurs are really making money out of that. Another way entrepreneurs are making money out of the current crisis is investment. Most entrepreneurs don't have the means to open these big companies. They don't have the means to open their firms for ammunition production or they don't have the expertise or the knowledge. You know, you need scientists, you need, you need engineers in the production of these ammunition. Some don't have the money in running the transportation or in buying vehicles going for airlines and the rest so what they do is they invest in those that are out, that are having the means that are having the idea that are having the requisite skills they invest in those people they invest in the ammunition companies they invest in the transportation companies and they are really gaining a lot from that so that is another way current entrepreneurs are gaining from what 
the crisis between Russia and Ukraine. Another way a lot of people are making money from this crisis is online. People have set satellites, have set cameras on these various the two countries and are showcasing the whole crisis online 24-7 and they are gaining a lot from that, especially the YouTube users. YouTube users are really gaining money from this particular crisis. Just when the crisis started, I saw one YouTube channel that within four days has already made 8 million views. So entrepreneurs are also capitalizing on this crisis through their online means. So some are using their blog, persistent update of their website on the current issue and they are really gaining from that. So persistent update of the current crisis between Russia and Ukraine on their website, on their blog, on YouTube and they are really gaining from that. So these are the few means entrepreneurs are making a lot of money or gaining a lot from the current crisis between Ukraine and then Russia. Please don't forget to subscribe and share for more of such insights.